With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is: In the figure given, the angle between incident ray and reflected ray is seventy degree. Find angle of reflection. All right. So angle between incident ray and reflected ray is given to be seventy degree. That is. Angle of reflection plus angle of incidence plus angle of incidence is equal to seventy degree, and we know from law of reflection, law law of reflection, that angle of incidence, angle of Incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Is equal to angle of reflection. Now, because angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection, then we can say theta plus theta is equal to seventy degree because it is given that angle of reflection plus angle of incidence is seventy. If angle of incidence is theta, angle of reflection will also be theta. So theta plus theta equals seventy. From here, two theta is equal to seventy degree. That is, theta is equal to thirty-five degrees. This is the angle of reflection. So, angle of reflection is thirty-five degrees. That's all. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.